Good morning. First thing I want to say today is that times have changed. The only thing about this world for sure is things change. You try and sit back, things will fall apart around you unless you work towards keeping what you've got or try to progress or whatever. Today I want to go over one of the well, by me saying that, that things change and uh, times change, now is a time of people waking up easily compared to the old way. You think how people like Buddha spent years and years before they woke up. Buddha went through many things to try and wake up. Many, many things. He abused his body, he did many, many things and years and years later he woke up. Me personally, it's taken me a long time. I didn't wake up until I was about 40. And to do that, I read many, many books. I always had this burning question of what am I? A sort of a, an itch that I was always scratching and I came to the answer. But now, because of the energy around us, it's much easier to wake up. We don't need all this study. We don't need all this knowledge. We can wake up just by knowing. I say just, it's still not easy to wake up. Uh, maybe only 1% of the people around us are woken up. In fact, you know, I not really have any... Anyway, I don't... Anyway. <laughs> A lot of people haven't woken up. One of my biggest questions was, I'm a person in my world and somebody else is a person in their world. And we are separate in our own worlds. How does it work? Right, you have to realise that people are not really separate. We appear separate because we look like we're in a physical body. We appear separate because of our own egos, which we've developed since we were born. At birth, we're all oneness. And it's only since we grew up and we became individuals. You take somebody who grew up, say in Africa, with no money, big family, their life was just to survive. You take somebody in an affluent family, doing well, their job was like education. You take somebody, like say Bill Gates, who was growing up in a family of eugenists, who wanted to uh, decrease the world's population, he carried on with their agenda. But underneath it all, they're all the same spirit, the same I am. So we're not separate at all. We've just had different life experiences which has made us what we are. And that's the message. Every other person is you, but having different life experiences. <laughs> so there's only one you. But this one you lives in many different worlds, in many different bodies. When you wake up to this fact and you stop thinking you're a person and you think you are the I am and you are connected to everything else, it's not just people that you are, it's the animals, it's the flowers, it's, the, it's everything. You are I am, you are all of it. So why destroy stuff? Why are we worried about things? When you die, you just stop being a person. You return to being the I am. Now, on death, we can't be sure we go directly to I am. You may come back in another body and be a person again. You may, uh, I don't know, be an animal. I don't know. We don't know what happens on death. Unless, 
as in my previous video, you decide to die consciously and leave the body and go straight into spirit, bypassing any chance of coming back to earth. Bypass any chance of being a prisoner in this world. Okay, I hope that helps. We are oneness. We are I am. Good. Bye.